Good morning, happy Saturday. Good morning, Ace. Whenever he hears the camera, he always comes out. It's like, it's like, okay, what do we have to do today? <laughs> but anyways, welcome to our weekend vlog. Um, we are up. Mason needs to get up soon. I'm about ready to start breakfast. Can you guys tell what I'm gonna do? Um, little breakfast burritos, some vegetables, and spicy sausage. Um, I'm gonna make the boys a really good breakfast because they actually have to head out. Uh, Mason's school for their baseball is doing a fundraiser and it's a cornhole tour. I knew I was gonna mess that up. I was just practicing it before this clip. Cornhole tournament. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say, but that's where they're headed. Um, so Jack and Mason are on a team together and it's basically just to raise money for the baseball program. Um, so they have to head up a little bit earlier than I will go up because they're gonna help set up and everything. And then eventually I think I'll head up there and watch them play a little bit. But you guys, they had to come up with a name for their team and Jack and I were like racking our brains. We're like, okay, let's try to think of a cool name. And then Mason all of a sudden was just like, around the corn? And I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So like around the horn when you play baseball, instead of horn, they replace it with corn because corn bag. You get it, so that's their team name. I think it's super cute. And then what else we got going on today? Mason has another birthday party to go to, so I'm not for sure how long this tournament's gonna last. Hopefully he can get to his birthday party on time and we still need to get a birthday gift for that. So yeah, it's the weekend though, so come along and we'll figure out something to do. I'm, I'm, I'm sure besides, you know, we have to do this cornhole tournament. There we go, I got it. But yeah, happy Saturday. I gotta make breakfast. Starting to pack up stuff to head to the tournament. Um, so Jack just texted me and <laughs> this is just their luck. They just drew so they know who they're playing and they're playing the two time defending champions, um, their first game. So it sounds like it was gonna be an early morning but then he just texted me and said that it's double elimination. So thankful for that because I think they are about ready to just get skunked. I, I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, oh, what's the odds that they would draw that couple? Um, but hopefully they can win their next game and then move on. So we will see about that. But yeah, I'm just loading up, grabbing some water, some sunscreen. Um, Got to get this guy out to go to the bathroom. And then I'll head up and hopefully get you guys some clips. Um, we'll see how it is. But um, I'm hoping to get clips. Hopefully I, they don't put me to work like working the snack shop or something, so we will see. Mason's versus and his friend. They lost the first one, won the second one, now they're on their third. It's Mason's, Jack's team, they're moving on, they won game three, but I'm loving all the names. Well, we are back from Mason's Cornhole Tournament and they actually, I'm proud of the boys considering they lost to that really good team, which that team that they lost to, um, they won the whole tournament. So they took the L the first game and then would you guys win, what, five games in a row maybe? Oh, Ish? Four at least? Four maybe. Four you lost, you were eliminated on the fifth game maybe? Yeah. Um, but yeah, they... They were eventually eliminated, but it was a good turnout. It was really fun, and uh, I think the boys did pretty decent. I was proud of them. Um, but yeah, the boys are shower changed because it was hot, you guys. It's like 10 degrees hotter than what we're supposed to be right now. Like and it it's, felt like it too. Yeah. It was hot. It was hot. <laughs> I was hiding in the shade. I, I was definitely hiding out in the shade. But um, like we said earlier, Mason has a birthday party to get to, so we're gonna run, grab a birthday gift, and grab lunch. And I think the birthday gift that he wants to get is where we're gonna eat lunch. So he wants to get a Chick-fil-A um, gift card. So it kind of works out, because we're gonna eat lunch there anyways. We just run and grab a card, and he's gonna leave us again, you guys. This is what he does. He's this, you know, that teenager, and I know when he drives, it's gonna be worse. <laughs> Cause right now he relies on us to get him everywhere. Yeah. And that's funny, I was gonna say that, so basketball tryouts last week, Jack said that what's Mason like, one of like two or three kids left that need rides? Need pickup, yeah. <laughs> that needs the pickup. 
<laughs> Mike Mason's last call, come get me. But everybody else is like getting in their cars and driving home themselves. So we're getting there, you guys. It's almost time for him to take his permit test. So we're slowly but surely getting there. All right, you ready? Look, he's hungry. We're gonna go eat. Can uh, we eat snack before we eat? Speaking of growing teenagers. <laughs> All right, we're headed out. Ace was good the first time in the kitchen while we were at the tournament, and he's gonna be in the kitchen again. But he just ate lunch, so he needs his, his afternoon nap now. Um, Chick-fil-A doesn't mess around. When you ask for sauce, uh, I think they... I was coming back to the counter. I guess, holy moly. <laughs> I got the grilled nuggets. I'm gonna put some honey mustard, shake it up. What'd you get, a spicy chicken? A regular chicken. Spicy? Yeah. Spicy. Uh -huh. What'd you Spicy. get? Spicy. And we got the gift card, we didn't forget. Yeah. Well, Mason is off to his birthday party and now we just sit around and wait for him to call us to tell us to come pick him up. But uh, we just took Mr. Ace for a walk. Good boy, you tired again? But I think Jack and I, while we're waiting for Mason, we're gonna run up to Sam's Club because I saw on TikTok that they have advent calendars there for doggos that have treats for them. So if you guys have been watching us in the past, I always try to get Mason an advent calendar and Jack an advent calendar. Um, so this year we have Ace, so he has to have one. I do know that Costco has one because my sister actually texted me. They have one that has toys and treats in it, but you guys know that Ace loves to toy, uh, chew up his toys, so I don't know. I think the treat one will probably be the better option for Ace because I'm pretty sure those toys in that other advent calendar he'll destroy in 2.2 seconds. So, you're gonna be a good boy, okay? We're gonna go to the store and try to find you an advent calendar, okay? You take a nap? <laughs> you guys, his haircut is coming up, so he won't be this floofy for very much longer. A couple more weeks. Yay, they have it. Ace is gonna be happy. Um, and it's super cheap, 10 bucks. There you go. Sp supposedly they sell out. I already checked once this week and they were sold out, so they got another shipment in. Don't tell Ace guys, it, it's a surprise. <laughs> okay, we're back from Sam's Club, you guys. I found the cutest sweatshirt there. Look how cute this is. I'm definitely local, born and raised, Phoenix, Arizona, so I had to. And then Jack said, since you're getting a sweatshirt, I'm gonna get sweatshirt. Yes. <laughs> um, this is a good deal, it's like 30 bucks, so. Normally those are like 40, 50. And then Jack saw this whenever they, if I'm not home, like easy dinners. I don't know, have you guys tried this from Sam's Club yet? I'm sure, is it microwavable? What do you do with this? I, I, air fry. I think, yeah, you're gonna air fry. Boys love these to snack on. And then this is why we went, look at them. Oh wait, we showed you guys there. Yeah, we showed you, but look, I didn't show the back. Ooh. So, get all these treats in there. It seems like it's decent. Um, I always try to get, you know, Ace like better treats and stuff. So I think he's gonna do good with it. But you have to wait till December 1st, buddy. You have to be patient. <laughs> what else do we get? I think this is what we're gonna do for dinner tonight since we had Chick-fil-A kind of like a late lunch. These were on super duper sale. Always good to have in the house. And of course, we weren't gonna drink fresh squeezed orange juice for breakfast in the morning. But that's it, not too bad of a haul. I went for you. Whoa. And then I was telling Jack they have, um, they're supposed to have Lego advent calendars, but they didn't have any. And when I go on their website, it says that they're out of stock. So I don't know if they just already sold out that quick. Um, but I didn't even see where they would have been in the store or they just haven't come in yet. So that's something that goes quick. But I was thinking that would be kind of fun to have, to like just do a little um, figurine. <laughs> We're kids still, right? I mean, I'm 41, but I still like to put Legos together. Mason would be jealous of it though. Oh wait, it wasn't for him, it was for me. And you normally don't like the chocolates that come in like normal advent calendars, so I'm like, maybe I'll get Jack the Lego one and Mason the chocolate one. <laughs> but we couldn't find those, so. All right, um, yeah, speaking of Mason, it's 6.30, still haven't gotten the phone call. Assuming he's still having fun at the birthday party. Good morning, everyone, it's Sunday fun day. The boys were just discussing their fantasy football. This kid just walked down the stairs, um, got home, I think we went and picked him up around 11 o'clock last night. Um, he's still in the same clothes. I think he went straight to bed. But how was your party? 
I'm just gonna take some mouthful of food. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, this kid's always eating though. Ooh. Did you have fun at the birthday party? Yeah. He said they watched a scary movie, but he doesn't remember the name of it. But he said it was super scary. And me and Jack were like, we really want to watch it. So we're gonna try to figure out what the heck movie he no. watched. So apparently it was really scary. So we need to figure out what movie that was. But he uh, had to debate what was scarier: sleeping in his own room by himself or having the dog sleep next to him and lick his face. So he decided to sleep. Alone. <laughs> yeah, he slept. Yes, he did. Ace slept with us like always. Um, he doesn't sleep in our bed though, you guys. He sleeps in our bathroom on the tile, which is the strangest spot for him to sleep because it seems so uncomfortable. But that's what he, I know, he's always sleeping okay. in on the tile. That's We've gotten dog beds for him. He's gone through like, what? We tried like two different dog beds. Yeah. Nope, he's never. When he was a puppy, you when we it, first, when you put him in the corner, yeah, right there, the you guys remember from way back, he says almost a year, we had a little dog bed in the corner here and he would, when he was puppy, he would snuggle up in there. So yeah, it's Sunday fun day. We have football going on. We have the Cardinals and the Eagles, both afternoon games. You guys, did you set your clocks back or what is it? Fall back. Yeah. See us in Arizona. I'm confused. We don't do that. So on the news today, we learned that Arizona and Hawaii. Hawaii are the only two states that don't do the whole weird clock thing. I am so thankful for that because it seems like it's a pain in the butt. I've just, I've never had to deal with it, I guess. So I don't know. But now we know that when we call Jack's family, it's only a two hour difference, which that's nice because sometimes when it's the three hours, that's a lot. Like we'll be up and like his sister will be in bed because it's three It'll hours be like different. The Phillies game. Aren't you glad we don't have to deal with that? Or even better, my sister forgets that we're on the West Coast and she'll call me yeah. oh, yeah. er Early in the morning. In the morning here. It's like, oh, we're still in bed. But anyways, so yeah. Happy daylight savings time for all of you that participate in that. Um, Jack and I are about ready to head out to the store. I want to get, I think I'm going to put chicken pot pie in the crock pot for dinner later on tonight. Okay. Um, yeah, we got football. Go Cardinals. Go Eagles. See if uh, see if the card. What is happening? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Let's see if the Cardinals can get a win again. Um, <laughs> you guys. Every time I turn the camera, they're acting like a fool. Look, Ace wants to join. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. All right, let's head out before football starts. All right, guys, a little update here. Um, Cardinals are winning. Sorry. Huh? Sean Mason, a t-shirt. Okay, Cardinals are winning. Eagles are trying to battle back right now. But what is it? I think the Cardinals, Cardinals are like in halftime and Eagles are in the third quarter. So a little update on the football games. We will not talk about my fantasy team once again. I'm not doing good this year at all, you guys. Um, do you guys go shopping after, so last weekend was Halloween. I normally go and get like all these great deals, stuff 50% off, 80% off. I didn't go Monday or Tuesday, I think I went Wednesday, and they literally had nothing at the store, like nothing. The only thing that I could find was these little caramels. Well, I lied about that. I'm, I'm fibbing. Because I did find some Reese's peanut butter cup that were shaped as pumpkins that are already in my belly. But um, I got these and I thought, well, Mason, he likes caramel apples. So I think I'm going to try to melt this down and just kind of slice these apples and dip the apples into caramel. And I promised him at halftime of the Cardinals game, I would do that for him. Um, dinner is in the crock pot. How's that looking, you guys? Can you guys see? I don't want to lift it. It still has about three more hours to go. But that's that chicken pot pie that's starting to smell at the house, starting to smell really yummy in here. All right, for now, let's do some caramel apples, and hopefully the Cardinals continue to win, and the Eagles can fight back and get a W for Jack. You need it? How's your fantasy doing? Do we not talk about that either? What are you doing? Oh, don't talk about it. Okay. Ace wants apples. I saved a couple for him. He's Ooh. not allowed to have the sugary stuff. But the Mason caramel. Mason melted the caramel, and I think I decided to do the caramel nachos, or apple nachos, or whatever it's called. So here's what we're gonna You're do, gonna Mason. You're gonna drizzle yeah. the cheese? What do you think of that? Okay. Kinda like it's the nacho cheese. Nice. Don't worry, guys, we're not ruining our dinner. We're excited to eat Should dinner. we give Ace this little treats? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, gentle. Let it as little bites. Go ahead, bite. Ace, bite it. There we go. 
Oh, okay. There he goes. <laughs> and then Mace. Would you like me to top your nachos off with some chocolate chips? I would love that. Okay. I'll give this one to these two. Sure. Or maybe I'll steal it. There you go. No. Bon appetit. Oh, those are some very good <laughs> nachos. We need to share with Dad. I didn't make him a plate that we could share. Uh, we'll see about that. No, I'm just kidding. Go share. <laughs> Ace, you want your other apple? Oh, he's still eating the other one. There you go. Have it. Oh, now he's running away from me. Nope, he's going back to the middle. Okay. And he's going to eat his apples while we eat our uh, nacho apples. Interesting. I like it. We haven't tried it yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll update you. Yeah, we might as well finish these off. All right. Perfect. More sugar. Not really for sure what's going on over here. It's a lot of laughing. Um, but it is dinner time and you guys, you ready to see it? It smells so yummy. There you go, finished product. So it's crock pot, chicken pot pie. I cheated though, you guys. You can make homemade biscuits. I just got the store bought ones because it's easier. But then you just top that and it's like you're eating a pot pie. And it cooked all day for about seven hours today. Yum. Okay, normally we don't have iPads or cell phones at our dinner table. We just kind of like to have family time conversations. But tonight, I don't know why, we started on dad jokes. And uh, Mason, you got one? What do you call fake spaghetti? What do you call fake spaghetti? I don't know. The impasta. <laughs> I'm fighting. Give me another one. Okay. It's been hard because you guys miss a few, but I'm, I'm doing okay, but there's somewhere I just can't. <laughs> okay, searching. So while he's searching for another one, dinner, I think, boys, dinner was excellent. Amazing. They both had a le um, second, and we have leftovers, so that's good. So that'll be busted out sometime during the week. You got another one, Mason? He's had some really funny ones. Oh, man. <laughs> I said we might have to do this for a future. You got a good one. Do you want to tell him the octopus one? <laughs> <laughs> How do you make an octopus laugh? How, Jack? <laughs> Give him ten tickles. <laughs> What's the best way to burn a thousand calories? The best way to burn a thousand calories? Yeah. Just leave the pizza in the oven. You gotta, you gotta end with it one, a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna make a cap. What do sea monsters eat? I already don't like your setup. What do sea monsters eat? Yeah. Seaweed? Fish and chips. <laughs> what? That make sense. Fish and chips. I get it. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Why did the photo go to jail? I don't know. Because it was praying. <laughs> what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? Yeah. I don't know, Sleeposaurus Rex? No. A dino snore. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, all right, so here's what I want to do. You guys leave all of your funny dad jokes down in the comments. See if you can get us to laugh. Oh, leave them in the right. comments, and then maybe we'll do a video with Mason and I trying to make each other laugh. Yeah. Why don't you buy things with Velcro? Why don't you buy things with Velcro? Because it will never stick. Because it's a ripoff. <laughs> I know, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to end it on that one. You guys know it's Sunday night. We're going to go ahead and end the vlog. It was a good weekend. Don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, I can't stop laughing. <sighs> Breathe, Chrissy. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.